Hello everyone, and I'm sorry this episode is late. You know what, actually, since it's late, I don't want to play with the D6. Let's go random. And we get Samson. Fitting punishment for being late, I suppose. So that means we actually have a higher chance of getting carried than any other character. Not a lower one. A lot of people don't realize that since Samson starts with one special item that does count, um, he has more of a chance to get most of the actual hard carry items in the game. Now, unfortunately, I got a terrible boss, and I'm playing it very poorly. But, had I not died there, Jesus, um, I could have also pointed out that since I start with a soul heart, my red health is also protected against damage. Therefore, pretty much guaranteeing me a devil room on basement slash cellar 2. So Samson actually, if you play it right, has one of the strongest starts of any character. His only real downside is that he starts with the tears down. The shot speed up is negligible for most of the game. Like, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Honestly. Come on. And we've already got some more survivability. Let's see what's in our item room before we leave. Best friend. Well, I can at least use it for this. And that secured us our item room on the next floor. Well, in addition to this key. Either way, I'm not going to check the curse room on this floor. Right now, this soul heart is worth way more than the potential of a cat piece right now. After I beat the boss, I will check the curse room. But only after. Kill some of these little spiders. Bloody lust is so actually good. Used to be one of the dissenters against bloody lust, but I actually really like it. Because it is actually a very substantial damage increase once you get uh, once you get it to where it needs to be. And since I have a soul heart, I'm safe. Safe to do this. Ah, I dropped a nickel. Okay, well, I'm at negative two health. Um, hmm, I know I said I was going to check the cursor room, but I'm actually not gonna do that anymore. It would have been a good idea while I had health, but that's no longer the case. I'm not sacrificing 50% of my HP just for a chance at 50% more, like best case scenario. Let's see what we got. Lemon mishap. I'll take it. Why not? I'm sure I can do something with it. It can contribute in some small way to my damage. During some boss. And I'll take this just for the sake of it. Just to remove this as a possible drop in the future. We'll 
will not be going to the shop unless I get a lot more money. Wow. Managed to do that room without blowing up the TNT barrels. That's pretty neat. Nothing doing there. Ah, bullshit. <laughs> I've been cheated. I didn't move. I did that f I did that room correctly. <sighs> Let's try this again. Oh boy. The only character I would less like to play. That's a lie. Eve is so much worse. We're resetting. That's entirely too much and too stupid of damage to keep going with. Only real hope here, for me, since I'm really bad, is get an early Polaroid and get at least one soul heart before a devil deal, and don't get hit any other times. And then have the devil deal be really good, like knife packed or something. Knife packed that I can steal with Polaroid invincibility, please. So, oh. see if this works. Yeah, it does. That'll keep Monstro occupied while I have a sip of my drink. Anyone confused, Monstro just can't see you when you're inside of a poop. Nice. Three hearts. That's more than I asked for, game. Now if I can just find a very early Polaroid, I'm very set for Devil Deals. I could also get a bomb. Oh my goodness. The carry is real to begin with. Okay, we're definitely not doing that. Let's see what we can... Nothing. Okay. That is an outstanding start. Nice. We're in two-shot range. Could still very much use bombs, so if I can get any bomb item in this room, that'd be great. That's not a bomb item. It's nice, kinda. But it's not bombs. What I need right now is bombs to get tinted rocks. Hmm. Want soul hearts, not keys. That I will definitely take. It's amazing that we get a free compass in a normal challenge room. Especially this early game. It sorts me out pretty well for uh, having to manage my money. Nice, got bombs. Now I can hit Tinted Rocks. Where are they? There was one... here. Oh my goodness. Wow. My damage. No rocks there.
Definitely not bothering with chest right. Oh, you jerkwad. Not bothering with chests right now. Alright. Should get a soul heart from this boss. So that's nice. Give something else crazy. Let the devil deal be the knife. That would be awesome. Or even brimstone again. I would just happily take a massive damage increase. Okay. Stem cells I'll take. Well, this is just... Like, it only costs one. And then definitely brimstone. Wow. The carry is all too real. Jeez. 19.6 damage by Catacombs 1. That's pretty nuts. I feel like a lot of racers would happily have this build. And that boss with this build. My god. This is the type of thing where ronpaul.gif is applicable. Take speed. Uh, I'm gonna check here. Nice. Got it. Uh, why not? Maybe a health upgrade? No, but that could sort out my bomb issue. And once again, I'm not checking curse rooms. Blue Baby's health is too important. Glad it wasn't bomb husk. Again, this one only costs two, so I'm gonna take it. It's just more damage. I think more speed as well. I have never memorized the difference between the mark and the pack. Cool, more bombs. And we can go to the boss challenge room, just for fun. And because we're almost guaranteed to get something worthwhile. I'm gonna pop these, just because they're gonna bother me if I don't. Uh, that could still be amazing. Yeah, it's not. I was really hoping for a high priestess. Bloody Penny is flat out useless. Prioritization. Champions first. Still, well, actually, it'll only cost me half a heart. Oh, it gains me half a heart and a bunch of bombs 
and money. And that was dumb. But I got enough bombs to pay for that little mistake. And I'm getting even more. So cool. Only have five hearts, which is kind of a problem, but I think we can manage for now. Blue baby, I'm always skeptical of going to the chest. Not greed. I'm not gonna take the ladder. It is almost never worth it. Whoa. Not a fan of the curse of darkness on any floor, let alone the fucking necropolis, where I have to deal with like actually hard rooms. The hardest rooms in the game. Oh. I went the right way. Neat. That inner compass. Oh my god, okay. I don't actually want to be on this floor any more than I have to. So, I think I'm just going to go down as soon as peep, er, bloat dies. Yeah. I'd say this is pretty worth considering I save myself some health. have another shop. And I'm actually gonna go back for the other shop. Especially since I realized I'm going the wrong way to begin with. Cool. Just enough money to get what I want. Yep, I was going the wrong way. I'm gonna skip the item room. Well, actually, we're only on the depths not necropolis this time. I think I can handle it. Let's go to the item room. Whoa. Yeah. Rooms like this I don't have much of a problem with. check this out. Oh wait, it's it's gonna be greed. Oh, it's super greed. Okay, well. Give quarter? He gives no quarter. He gave me some bombs though, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go for the boss challenge room as well. It's just so worth it when we've already gotten so many damage items that it's like the game wants to give me growth hormones as well. Oh. Alright, the tears up is irrelevant, but the health is super worth it. Especially since Chubb and Peep won't be that bad. To the boss. Up and around to the boss. Uh 
up, down, all around to the boss room. Balls of steel, nice. I was thinking it before it came up, and I happened to get it right. Give me best mom. <laughs> the fight's being a jerk. Uh, Should have just done it this way, really. I'm not, I'm probably not going to go to the chest, purely because I have no orbitals and I don't have an absolutely absurd amount of damage. I just have good damage. So I think we'll just go to shield. Wasn't paying attention. Nice, got Teratoma. Pain. Yeah, this is why we're going to show. The cathedral in the chest would be a little sketchy with this much health and... Only this much damage and no orbitals. Yeah, no. That's not worth it anymore. I won't be opening very many more locks. See Guppy's paw in that first devil room. I wonder if there'll be any item like an alternate to Monsters too that sends Isaac flying off the screen and comes down with that blood splash. Since we already know about Monstro's lung, I don't know of any other Monstro features we could use. Although lung didn't come to mind when I thought Monstro shots. I thought more like Monstro's cleft might have been it. But it gives you the glow, I suppose. Wait for the creep to recede. Now go. Wow. I missed. Like I said, not many more locks. Okay. 
Whoops. Phase three, go. Trying to do, trying to score double hits. Doesn't matter. Well. That's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will hopefully see a lot of you in November for my 24-hour Rebirth stream on November 4th when Rebirth comes out, and then maybe some other 24-hour streams or just long streams throughout the month. I'll see you guys later.